Next up, we got Mugen and Didi. I believe so. Yeah, they're sitting down. Oh, is yeah, sitting oh, down I, I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Them over there. <laughs> um, let's see. It's it's Roy, and and whoever and Steve. Steve I'm playing, assuming. I guess. Yeah. Last I, time, I, last time Mugen played a Steve like <laughs> the same caliber. It was Jake at Infinicon, and he oh. kind of got three would so. Right. I I remember seeing that set. But I yes. know that like you can really good player, definitely uh, learned from the last set. Sure. Had to have. I mean, sure. um, the adaptation just comes out in troves. So. Yeah, but, um, but DB might be a different kind of beast. Already taken out. Well, not taken out. Beating Wrath and Fatality in the pools. Yeah. yeah. Very good stuff, DB. Yeah. Very good showing. Okay. Um, Steve combo. The Steve combo. Wow. Kept his double jump and oh, very Goodness good recovery. Stuff. And now it's my advantage state. Yeah. And it, like Steve having almost. Not no materials, but low, but, right, whatever, right. but like low materials at that point at the ledge. You just want to like put it on. Right. Um, oh yeah. What's oh the ledge trap out now? Int always mining on the TNT. That that is a you just like you have to respect. Yeah. If he's standing on the, if he's around the, TF, the TNT and like doing whatever he wants. Though, okay, I might say that's not true. I feel like if the plate isn't there, you can approach it and you'll be fine. Just know the timing. Right. Because like, I think hitting it blows it up, but like. Because all he can do is like down smash it. Yeah, and well, I guess he could down, but he has to be standing on it for it not to hurt him. Right. Which he was then. But, um. Yeah, Moon is really slow. Oh, minecart, yeah. The mix up on the match. Catch no way. Jump. Wow. All right. I think it was just was that cobblestone or iron? I think it was iron, honestly. Um. But yeah, pick up a diamond. Okay. Using the B armor to deal with the up tilt pressure. But yeah, gold. Okay, that was a really good spot dodge. I can't really call out. Like, I can't see it, but he's I'm, he has to be SDI the jabs. That's exactly like what you need to be doing against like uh, Steve Jabs. Yeah. Um, you have to do some kind of mix between uh, SDI up and SDI away. Yeah, um, I always do up and away. Right, yeah, um, that's what I do too. Um, of course, I also only play floaties, so I'm not really. Oh, that's true. I'm not used to like seeing how like you know the what it looks like yeah. the fast ballers, but uh, I've seen Steve do crazy, crazy stuff with jab. Oh wow! Oh, not ready for that. No uh, sour spot back here. Uh, ooh! Oh, I, yeah. So so I love I love that. Uh, most Steve players, as soon as they come back uh, from the platform, mm -hmm. they're like, I'm gonna go mine and sure. get my diamond or whatever. But what you can do, he's invincible. He's not really being threatened. Mm -hmm. You can just kind of push him out of the way of the minecart or of, of, of the, the crafting table. Crafting table. I see. Uh, and like because they don't expect it, you're invincible. Why would they ever sure. try to? But like, mm, I don't know. Back here, off back the top. Here, off the top. In, insanely crazy move. Yeah. Very. Yeah, it's kind of wild. Um, but you know, he's basically the one setup away from even in this up. If Mugen can uh, continue to push the advantage, but uh, Minecart gonna get Didi out of there. Man. Oh my goodness! The damage I put on this character is so crazy. Yeah. Man. Okay, yeah, and almost a full stock lead for Didi. A lot of corner pressure, getting the grab, forward throw, throw him off. I think the same blitz trap is so good because like that that grab mm -hmm. is it is a tether grab, obviously, like it covers so far, but it also like kind of goes up. So if they want to like right. like drop some ledge and do something or like jump over you or maybe the grab can just kind of catch them if you just maybe didn't guess right. Um, oh yeah, not reacting to the minecart. Um, it can be a little tough if he's that close. Oh, great wait uh, by Didi. Great wait. Yeah, so dodge. Didi is getting low. Oh, low. I don't know if he can come he from back on that. Back. Yeah. All right, really well done. Really well done. Moving kind of definitely was I, I think if he just pushed the advantage, um, maybe it was just reacting or um, waiting for a little bit more of the Steve options, like the minecart, the anvil, and that kind of stuff. Um, right. Maybe be able to make it just a little bit closer, I mean, because it was definitely not out of the realm of possibility. Um, but I think that those were the kind of the defining moments, was when Mugen did get advantage and then lost it because he wasn't ready for like a Steve option. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they picked Genova and the game crashed. Oh no. They picked Genova and the game crashed, man. Come on now. Too powerful. Come on now. Too powerful. I, I, I think that Genova is actually like the most picked song in Georgia. I believe it. The song I think, is like, every uh, every finger. other set in like four oh four, they're picking Genova. And it's a good song on its own, but like <laughs> you hear it so much, dude. Yeah, I guess like I can see how that could get annoying. It, you get it, and, if and you're like, lame. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I do love it, and I do love the Final Fantasy music. So again, maybe I'm a little biased. 
Um, but that's just my boomer energy. You must love the fact that you can pick any song on those three stages. Yep. That's such a good choice. All right, there we go. Like first time of the day, I'm like bopping to it, right? It's a really good song, <laughs> but like three hours later, you're gonna yeah, say, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm watching like what Losers Quarters Fallen yeah. Dusk, and like it's the eighth time it's played, and I'm like, all right, guys, come on now. <laughs> there are other songs in this game. Steve pick again. All right, understandable. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty solid showing. So, Three, right. very much. So. Hopefully, no more uh, technical difficulties. We in it small battlefield. Um, I know, I know, what I've just from seeing DD play and every Steve play that the being able to set up blocks on the middle of the platform and then stand under the platform. Oh, so, good. so, so good. Um, you really gotta like approach it really methodically. Honestly, it's really easy for Steve to just kind of swing at you from behind the blocks. Yeah, he's getting Ooh, a lot oh. of beat. Yeah, that was a pretty antsy option. I mean, he's obviously just trying to shark him, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think a B is like definitely the mm -hmm. best one to go. It's because Roy has that amazing up air. Um, True. That frame five. Probably was a missing point. Like, I think I got to be It has to be a missing point. Oh, Hope yeah. Hope it's Electrum, um, but immediate option. I don't think that many people let's jump in this game. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think so either. I think it's such a good option. Can Roy run under? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, Roy can run under one block. So like one thing I'll have to do against Steve is like, I want to apply pressure. Let me just take the bottom block out if I can run under it and mm -hmm. just see what he does. If he does nothing, well, then right. I'll mix it up and hit him for it. Sure. Um, like at, yeah, at a certain point, it's this kind of like guessing game of like what Steve's going to do in reaction to you doing that. Yeah, getting the confirm. Not sure if the mash was... Um, Good enough to maybe avoid something like that, but okay, there, I, that is definitely some SDI. Yeah, that was for sure SDI. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, there I can actually see him in the camera. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think that like when Steve gets you in that minecart, and that's what I think like we just all need to do is like when he gets slow, people are like, oh, he's just gonna come up smash me or whatever. Mm -hmm. That did kill us. Okay, that better have killed. Um, but like. A lot of people like to stay in it, and some people like to like get out of it early, but I feel like it got slow and Didi was like, alright, I'm gonna see what you do. Because you do get yeah. to see like the white spots where right. people are getting out of it. Um, it was really smart by Didi. Yeah, TNT set up. Uh, Batting off the top. Yeah, I'm gonna take a second thinking about what maybe we could be doing better. I get some nice percent. Yeah, corner pressure, but um, jumping into the minecart. Yeah, and this is like a fully decked out, inventory stacked uh, right. Steve. It's going to be really, really hard for Hugin to uh, take it back. Yeah, it's, it's those moments where he's trying to pressure and then he just drops an anvil or he shoots out the minecart. Yeah, um, you really can't like extend too hard on Steve until he has no iron. Very true. I feel like no iron Steve is like the, the golden opportunity, but... Right. Oh? Oh, yeah, he's fine. A lot of shield pressure. Yeah, great. I... Yeah, not much that he can get off it, I guess that's percent. Um, but still an advantage today, this great. Yeah, swinging the back air out of back disadvantage. Air. Um, very potent option for boys at high percent. Okay, no diamond for you. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there we go. Down to the block, too. He does. I feel like in like the one time that I played Didi, I feel like Didi always, like, oh, okay, always, like, moved first. Uh, sure. In a situation like that. Um, because I think he's like allowed at least one more option before you can really get in drop. Oh wow. Okay. I wonder yeah. if that minecart would have scooped him up if he was still hanging on ledge. Uh -huh. I doubt it, but it I had to drop for okay, a reason. Down air. Okay. Also, option. Okay. Wow, that stuff's off the minecart. Oh yeah, but he's going to buy another one and he has going to get that diamond back here. I was going to say, Steve getting low on materials. Uh, he only oh, had like even notice, yeah. three, two irons left in one block. Um, that kind of ledge pressure was really good. Mm -hmm. Just couldn't keep it up. Yeah, but we're definitely seeing some kind of adaptation from um, Mugen. He made it a, a bit closer oh, than the first sure. game. Um, you can see a little bit more awareness of like how to interact with the blocks and what you should be doing afterwards. Um, so maybe we can keep pushing that and take this uh, set even further, or maybe Didi's gonna. Close it out with this 3-0. I mean, he's looking strong and um, definitely capable of doing that. 
The same stage. Same song. Get third. <laughs> Um, we're, like, I feel like games 2 and 3 are full oh. of, like, legend offstage play. I think it's so like, too, the yeah. first one was more so, like, if you went out on stage, but this is more so, like, you're, you're staying out here in the corners. Mm -hmm. yeah, very like, the bad part about that is, like, it can be reversed so easily, though. Um, That's true. Yeah, a very strong, uh, opening by DD. Um, yeah, gotta get that back here, 7 uh, moving off stage, another grab. TNT, what's the mix up? Okay, minecart and then anvil. Okay. Uh, so many options. Yeah. Steve can just kind of throw out, uh, well, all of Minecraft things. Right. And, but it's also like a lot of materials used in that moment. Cause it, it was a lot. Now he's out of iron. Right. He is now out of iron. Yeah, so that um, definitely changes up the way that um, Mugen can do um, some pressure um, if, in extending the advantage. If you are Mugen, like, this is when you, like, you want to play smart, right? You don't want to, like, get hit and mm -hmm. give him his stuff back, but you also want to put all the pressure on you can. Right. A strong back here, so Great. good. Back here. Yeah, he's been like Diddy has, has been scouting out these ledge jumps so well. Trying to go for a uh, roll. Oh, wow, right that was so safe. So back here, if that was anything other than wood. Well, actually, it might not have connected. I don't know. That was a great. That was a really well timed get up attack. All right, now only having one iron left, and now okay. it's gone. Yeah. Woo. I mean, it's a pretty hard call, and he had the idea, but not the right spacing. And anything he could do to reset the situation. Okay, oh, basically no materials. Okay, yeah, never mind. I take it back. Down tilt. Um, oh, I like that air dodge. Keeping the invisibility active. Oh my god, he almost half smashed. He tried right. to, he tried to. Yeah, uh, Didi's parry game is so insane. Like, just watching what he, the things he calls out. Uh, also, like... 164 against Steve, you never see that. I feel like that is. I think that's, yeah. Yeah, up throw. Up throw, yep. Alright, fully stacked inventory here. Nice. Good punish. Decent damage. Okay, yeah, DD do. Uh, Doing a really good job of mixing up moving itself, uh, mixing up moving the disadvantage. But that ledge pressure, yeah, that'll do it. it. Yeah, that was reacted really, that was, to the grab. That was yeah, a really good. That jump side B is so good. That, and then reaction time did shout outs. Um, okay, this is like. Okay, now he's getting down. Yeah. No. Oh, maybe he wants up tilt back here. Yeah. No. Okay. That yeah. Just kills it. And and Mugen did a really good job of avoiding that setup for most of that game. Um, but uh, yeah, D. Uh, Get it. Hey, Nate. 